Ireland uh, they're back. Let me tell you this. I said earlier, if you weren't tuned in, Kevin was 257 pound on Friday. And when he did that Olympia, I think it was 228. Last time he was 257 was at the Arnold in 2007 when he won. Um, so his legs are back. He's training like an animal and he grows into shows. Kevin's a freak. There's no one else from the 90s could come back and do what he's doing. No one. And if you ask all those guys from that era, whether it's Flex or Sean Ray or Chris Cormier or any of those guys that were on top of their game back then, they'll all say the same thing. Lebron is the only guy that's ageless and he can come back and do anything. So I'm, I'm so excited, you know, to, to welcome him on stage. He's a great mate of mine, but we've sort of, you know, I saw him at his first Mr. Olympia in 1992 in Helsinki, Finland. And uh, we kind of clicked and we've been, been tight ever since. We've been through some highs and lows and... You know, the two guys that have been there for me through some really trying um, things, you know, from family breakups to, you know, lows to being broke to um, fighting my demons over the years. And I keep it real here. I don't hide anything that I've been through. Um, they're the guys that have reached out to make sure I'm OK every single time, you know. And um, I ran into Levroni at an expo in Germany about, I guess, four years ago. And we are both out of shape and kind of, you know, skinny fat, you know, when you've lost the plot. And we both said to each other, let's get back in shape. And um, we did. We both got, you know, um, I guess 15 months ago, 12 months ago, before I had my hip operations, I got into the best shape of my life at 52. Um, Kevin <laughs> took that to a whole new level. Now he's 53 and he's going to be in the shape of his life at the Arnold here in Australia. And what a privilege for us because he chose to do Australia. He's not doing Columbus. He's not doing any other show. This could be his last show ever. So I want the Australian fans to do this with me. It's when I announced Kevin Lavroni onto the Australian stage, I just would mean so much to me and to the sport for the historical value and the passion of the sport that we love is to give the dude a standing ovation when he walks out. It would be hard for me not to be emotional when that, when that happens because he's just uh, he's everybody's favourite. He's just the coolest dude you, know, you could ever meet.